Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If Pn is the nth prime number, then Pn is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n minus 1. Now, to prove this, we are going to use strong induction. So let's start with the base case, in which we prove that this is true for n equals 1. So really, we're trying to prove that p1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the 1 minus 1. So let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, we know that the first prime number is 2, and of course, 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the 1 minus 1. Because 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, and 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. So we have shown that P1 is equal to this guy, so P1 is less than or equal to this guy, and therefore we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction set. In the induction set, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n. And we assume for all positive integers k less than or equal to n, we have that pk is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the k minus 1. The whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. So really, we want to show that pn plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. In other words, we want to show that pn plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n. So let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, it turns out that the n plus 1 prime number is less than or equal to the product of the first n prime numbers plus 1. And I'll leave a link in the description below proving this, but it won't be public for a couple days. But in any case, we then have, by the induction hypothesis, that p1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the 1 minus 1, p2 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the 2 minus 1, and so on and so forth up to pn, which is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n minus 1. Now, all these guys are positive, so then we must have that the product of all of these guys is less than or equal to the product of all of these guys. And then, from our rules of exponents, we know that if we multiply all these together, we're just going to be adding the exponents. And now notice, our exponent here is a geometric series. And if you recall, the formula for a geometric series is the following. If r is a real number not equal to 1, and n is a natural number, then this is the formula for a geometric series. Now, in this case, r is equal to 2, and capital N is equal to n minus 1. And then, if we plug these two values in to the right-hand side, we get this. And this just simplifies down to 2 to the n minus 1. So this exponent is just equal to 2 to the n minus 1. Now, of course, this first term is a positive integer, so 1 is less than or equal to this guy. Therefore, this inequality must be true. But then, this is just equal to twice this guy. And then, from our rules for exponents, we know that this is just equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n. So, we have shown that pn plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the n. And that was the goal of the induction step. So this closes the induction 
which means we have proven precisely the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.